Hello hungry fam and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to test you Instagram hacks and check if they are real or fake. Before starting the video, like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Rate Hunger Plants. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. For the first hack, let's make the sauce or the filling. In a pan, add 1 tablespoon butter, 1 tablespoon garlic, saute for a minute. Then add 1 fourth cup of boiled sweet corn, saute again for a minute. Then add half cup of chopped spinach leaves. Keep sauteing until the spinach leaves are wilted. Then add 2 tablespoon of refined flour that is maida. Mix it well. Then add 1 cup of milk and mix it. Now season it with salt, black pepper powder, chilli flakes and oregano. You can add the seasoning according to your preference. I added 1 teaspoon of each. Mix it well. Then grate 1 cube of processed cheese into it. And mix it in. Now keep stirring the sauce until it thickens. Then take it off the flame and add 1 tablespoon of ketchup and 2 tablespoon of mayo. Mix it well and your filling is done. Now grease a baking paper with oil. Place few curries over it. Make a groove in center. Thoda rectangle shape ka karna. Then add the filling we made inside it and top it up with mozzarella cheese. Repeat the same for the remaining curries and bake it for 5 minutes or until the cheese melts. Looks amazing and something you get at high tea. Let's taste it now. Okay, no cheese pull because there was no cheese nahi dala tha, which is fine. Let's taste it. Oh my god, that is so 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 good it's very crispy and very gooey cheesy and creamy it's literally the best snack i've tried so far love the taste and texture it literally melts in your mouth it's super simple yet looks very fancy it's a delicious one bite snack perfect for a party you should definitely give it a try it was a big hit For the next hack, add oil in a pan. To that, add 1 teaspoon garlic, 1 chopped green chilli, saute for a minute. Then add any veggies you like. I added 1 fourth cup each of red cabbage, carrots, capsicum and baby corn. Just cut it into julienne and add it. Saute for 2-3 to three minutes. Then add salt and black pepper powder. Saute for more 2-3 to three minutes. Veggies ko proper cook nahi karna hai. we want to maintain the crunch. After sauteing, keep it aside. Then soak the rice paper in water for 10 to 20 seconds. Take it out and place it on a cloth. Place another rice paper over it which is already soaked. Remove any air bubbles. And place a good amount of sauteed veggies. Now instead of tofu, I am using paneer. Egg roll banane ke liye we'll need two rice sheets. Now roll it and seal the rice paper very well. Ekdam spring roll ko kaise roll karte waisi similar karna. Secure it from the edges as well. Now we have to steam it for two to three minutes. Remove and place it back on the cloth. Cut one roll into three pieces and keep it aside. I used a cloth so that the paper doesn't stick to the chopping board and ruin the roll. 
Now let's make the sauce. In a bowl, I added one tablespoon of sesame oil. To that, add one tablespoon of soya sauce. Okay, अच्छे से mix नहीं हो रहा था, but कोई बात नहीं. Add two to three tablespoon of hot water into it and mix. अभी जाके अच्छे से mix हुआ. Now add this hot sauce over the steamed spring roll. Looks so good and unique. It definitely looks like something you get at a Korean or a Japanese menu. The colors are vibrant. Aroma is very tempting. So let's dig into it. Wow, that is very delicious. I just can't explain how good it is. It literally bursted in my mouth with loads of flavor. It's sweet, spicy, salty, tangy. It it's literally all at once. It's slightly oily as well, which is perfect. It needs that oiliness. It's chewy and the veggies are crunchy, so a perfect balance. It's legit a genius dish. I loved it and it was a big success. The next hack is trending everywhere and bahut request hai so I had to try it. Here I have a small Sprite ki bottle. Add any green tea you have. I use tulsi and ginger from Organic India. Wahi tha mere ghar pe. Fold the tea bag and add it into the Sprite. Immediately it starts foaming and bubbling. It also starts creating a mess but it was super satisfying to watch. After 10 to 15 minutes remove the tea bag and keep it aside. In a glass add 3 slices of lemon, 1 to 2 tablespoon of pineapple chopped chunks, crush it to release the juice and add the green tea infused sprite into it. Mix and let's taste it now. Looks very pretty and surprisingly it tastes amazing. Green tea ka ekdam halka, ekdam slight tulsi ka flavor hai, but dominating flavor to pineapple and lemon ka hi hai which is so good. Super refreshing, very unique and something different. It's easy as well. So this hack was a success. For the next hack I'm going to cut two peeled potato. We have to cut it into slices. Then further cut it into fry shape, then add it into a pan. Fill 3/4 of the pan with water, cover and let it cook, which by the way took 40 minutes. Bahut zyada time lag gaya but koi nahi let it cool down now. After it's completely cooled, mash it with the potato masher. Then no measurements were mentioned or do mention kiya tha that was in Spanish so I translated it first I'm going to add 1/4 cup of corn flour then usme broth powder dala tha so I'm using maggi ka chicken broth powder I added 1 cube of it then add half teaspoon of salt and black pepper powder now mix it all together then take a small portion and form a ball out of it ekdam perfect ball tha so I guess mere measurements sahi the and now I'm excited for the taste Repeat the same for the remaining dough. Now carefully drop it into hot oil and deep fry until it's nice and golden brown. Sadly after 2 to 3 minutes only they started floating up and started breaking. Sab tootne lag gaye the and oil got completely ruined. Pure potato bahar aa gaye the and I'm feeling so sad to waste itna sara. I don't know if the measurements were wrong or I did something wrong but the hack was completely busted for me. Try these delicious hacks and let me know your feedback. Also let me know what you want to see next. Today's shout out goes to G3, Harshita K and Tanish Soni. If you want to shout out all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at rate hunger plans and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.